Hi, I'm Kevin Lima, the director of Enchanted, and I'm here today to show you a couple of the scenes that we cut from the movie. We cut them for all different reasons, and I'll share with you why we cut them before I show you each one. The first one here was an alternate opening to the movie, and we just found that it went on a little bit too long, so we condensed it down to what you now see in the film. Hope you enjoy it. Once upon a time, in an enchanted kingdom known as Andalasia, there ruled an evil queen named Nerissa. Selfish and vain, her greatest fear was that one day she'd be forced to hand her crown over to her stepson, Prince Edward. Come back here, you oh, When I get my hands on you, oh! That's the last knick-knack you'll ever walk out with. Ah, uh, kiss my acorns, you dumb palooka. You've got a big mouth for a little guy. <gasps> I'm gonna enjoy teaching you a lesson, Pip. Me first, fat boy. Ow! Always use your head. See you next time, Charlie. Kisses to the missus. You won't get away with this! <laughs> Did you? That it better maybe you don't know, honey. Mwah. No matter. It's wonderful. There we go. Ah. What we have now is the original introduction to Patrick Dempsey's character, Robert. What we found out when we put the movie together is that there wasn't enough setup for his character. So we went away, we wrote a new scene for him, shot it, and that's what you see in the film now. been so good about karate, I bought you a little something. For me? For you. Okay. A book? We cut this next scene mostly because of pacing. It's kind of funny, when you put a film together, sometimes you think you need all these pieces and setups for characters. And most of the time you find out you don't. Nancy Tremaine Design Studio. Robert again? Another text message apology. What does that mean? I'm not sure exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's not enough. So what are you saying? You're never going to forgive him? Oh, I'm sure I will, at some point. I mean, it's not like I'm one of those women, you know, who sit around their entire lives waiting for some perfect prince in shining armor to come take me off to his castle in the Hamptons. I got over that fantasy a long time ago. You know what I think? Is that a multiple choice question? I think you're a hopeless romantic who's discovered that romance is hopeless. Do you find anything better to do? This is another one of those scenes that you think you need to set up a scene that comes later. But when you put it all together, you find out you don't need it at all. 
A little piece of trivia, if you look at the guy in the blue shirt, that's our executive producer, Chris Chase. And I'd like to stay busy after the wedding. I mean, of course, there's the ceremonial duties, which I'm more than happy to do, but with all of my spare time, I thought that I could do something else. What about our happily ever after? Oh, well, I'm very excited about that, but I was thinking more about the day after happily ever after. I'd like two hot dogs, the works, extra crowd, and two rivers to wash it all down. Thank you. This is another scene that was cut because of pacing. What we discovered was that we couldn't support both the action that was taking place in the ballroom and Nathaniel's revelation. We also found out that it was a lot more fun to have Nathaniel show up as a surprise. talks about us having a future, but all she really seems to care about is this nasty apple business, and I, I'm loving her. I mean, what does that say about me? Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Hey, thanks for being a great listener. This next bit is more like a couple of deleted shots as opposed to a deleted scene. We had a running gag of two older women commenting on the action, and we also had Nancy waking Edward up. We just found that we needed the drama to move forward much quicker than it was. Come along, Michelle. I don't want you to miss this ending. All this with the special effects. Expectation. What's wrong with ending on a nice day? 